So white men are broken. Hmm. Trust. What I'm about to tell you right now, this isn't an excuse for men at all. I'm not making an excuse for men. I am just going to spit some truth about why men are broken. So the reason why men are broken, men fear showing their disappointments through their tears. We think it's a sign of weakness. We think we are vulnerable because women have put so much pressure and society have put so much pressure on men to be the providers, to be that strong rock, to be fearless, to be courageous within the women that they love lives and also their family lives and also people that surround their life that depend on them. So the man don't have time to actually grieve. The man don't have time to actually share share his emotions and show his emotions because like i said to some people is it considered as a weakness they consider as being vulnerable and this is the mentality that men have adopted over over time now the reason why this is since it's because since the beginning growing growing up boys growing up to be men we have and society have encouraged men to suppress their emotions, not to show emotions. But the true reality of this is, is that when you don't show emotions and you bottle up those emotions, you have to have an outlet. So your outlet will always spill, especially when your cups run is over with, with those emotions that you want that person, that you want someone that you can, you can talk to that can comfort you and not judge you and look at you as a sign of weakness. We want that and we need that. But when you don't have that, what this end up doing, this end up later providing negative consequences within our lives and also the relationship that we are trying to build with the person that we love. Yes, strong women. Yes, yes, yes. Men do hurt. Men do go through shit. And men do have strong emotions too. You are not the only person that love hard. And you're not the only person that falls hard. And you're not the only person that, that sit back and cry at night when things don't go right within a relationship or within your life. So, do women hurt? Yes, women hurt. Of course women hurt. I would be lying saying women don't hurt. But, women do not hurt any less than men but your hearts are generally more open than men because women are naturally more vulnerable so it's often easy for all for well for a lot of women to start over once they have healed and once women have healed it's easy for women to actually start over within their lives and actually give the new person that's coming within their lives a fair opportunity, a fair chance to win their heart over. They win their heart over. So, on the other, on the other hand, for men, men, it take men would take take those losses like deaths within their family, like they have lost their mother, their father, their sister. They take this shit to heart. They are never fully recovered from them. So when a woman hurt a man and a man have truly loved a woman, they would never, ever fully recover during the same, during a, a certain time span that women will actually recover within their hurtful and painful relationship. A man can move on. A man can truly move on within another relationship while he's broken. Don't, don't make no mistake about that. But a piece, a piece of their heart will always be missing within that new relationship that they're trying to start. So should a, should a man start over if he haven't worked on himself, if he haven't pieced together his broken heart? No, a man should never start over. A man should work on himself himself outside of the uh, outside of a relationship before he commit to a relationship because it's 
it's not fair to the person that he's inviting within his life especially when they are coming with open arms and loving him openly and he's just bottled up because of the hurt that he have experienced within his life so you have to understand from a man from a man perspective just think about this if you add multiple bad loves over a course of time over uh, over multiple years this shit would break anyone including the strongest man and when they move on within a new relationship they are actually only a shell of the person that they were before they were broken i want you to understand this now think about what i'm telling you right now a broken man is a man who cannot trust easily that's a broken man he can't give as much and he can't open his heart up fully to anyone no matter how badly he wants to a man truly truly wants to love he wants to be loved but he don't know how to accept love because he eventually feels as if love would put him in the same situation that same hurtful situation that he have experienced through a woman that he truly have loved so believe it or not these broken men they want healthy relationship they want healthy long-term relationship but they end up making their partner unhappy with their um shit inability to truly open up to their heart to trust the person that truly wants to be a part of their lives so women you know my advice to you or uh, my advice to these women that was coming in on the, on this so-called motivational speaker page and y'all was downplaying men because you wanted to you wanted to heighten your your hurt and frustration with men understand ask men the most important question when you are entering in a man's life because some men are not open to share their hurt because that's a sign of weakness and a sign of a man being vulnerable so it's hard for them to open up to you all so ask them the most important questions and a question like when is the last time you cried when is the last time you you love what was your longest relationship? Uh, you know, ask him that. Have you ever been hurt? That's an important question. If so, have you truly healed from your hurt? That's a reasonable question to ask. Did you, did you take the right amount of time to actually heal within your life? in order for you to be a viable piece within my life can you see yourself loving and trusting someone else again these these are all these are all questions that a woman should ask a man especially a man that have been broken because i assure you i have been broken before i truly have been broken before at an early age and this woman she man she did me bad she made me think that this person was her uncle but yet this person was someone that she was dating and she was falling in love with i can go on and on about this story but i but it would take more time but what i'm saying that i have been broken so what i did i blamed every every woman that that was coming within my life that truly wanted to be a viable piece within my life as if they were the same as the woman that actually hurt me and took my love and took my heart for granted so it caused a ripple effect within my life it caused distrust and it caused a disconnect with the women that truly wanted to be a part of my life so i had to learn to let go of the hurt i had to learn to stop looking at all women the same as the person that hurt me 
And right now today, I don't blame the person who hurt me in my past. Because I understand that she was at a point in her life that maybe she wasn't mature enough. Mature enough to, to actually be honest with me. That I wasn't the person for her. I don't know. Maybe she just had play in her. That's what it looked like. But the end of the day, the end of the day is that I had to forgive in order for me to move on. I had to really realize that my expectations that I had for her was great, was greater than her expectation that she had for us. So sometimes we put all the expectations on men and women instead of enjoying the man and man and woman that we are with and learning them for who they are. And when you start learning learning men and women for who they are, then you start realizing that it's some type of disconnect somewhere. And when you start realizing the disconnect, then you start asking them about this disconnect. And then you start realizing that, okay, maybe I'm wasting my time. Or maybe, maybe it is a healing process. And we will be okay within this relationship. These are, man, these are viable, viable things, man. So, so understand, man, all men and all women make mistakes. And understand, men is not out here on a witch hunt to hurt women. It's just that some men mature some men mature faster, some men mature slower, some men have play in them, and just some men, a lot of men just have been hurt and fucked over, just like some women. And it's hard for it's hard for men to actually share that that hurt and that frustration with other women because they have to put they have to put forth their best image that they are this strong and courageous person and fearless person and this strong provider and life cannot break them but the right woman the right love can break the strongest man so men uh, if you out here you looking at this video right here because i'm actually getting tired of recording this video right now because i barely can keep my eyes open because the sun is really that bright but if you're looking at this video right now man understand Sharing your emotions, showing your emotions, and you being vulnerable is a sign of your strength, is a sign of you being courageous. Understand this. This will make you fearless. It takes someone that have supreme confidence to say, man, I cried. Man, you hurt me. Man, it's going to take me a while to get over this. That's true strength. That's where your true healing lies at. And and why you why you are coming why why you are coming to grips with your reality by looking at your own reflection and seeing who you seeing the actual state that you are in. Take that time to actually truly heal before you come into someone else's life, and vice versa to women. I guess, man, that's my message to you all, man. I hope it makes sense to you. God bless you all, and I hope you all are enjoying your beautiful day, too.